Hello. Hello, hello. Hello and welcome. This is a very special morning espresso. We're here with Dr. Part two. Hello and welcome. That's not very quick. Uh, hello and welcome to the Vegan Stephen podcast. This is the Morning Espresso. Today's date is the 20th of the 3rd, 2020. The time is 23.49. That is right. I snuck in. I snuck in behind the deadline. Um, but I'm here. I'm back. And uh, Vegan Stephen podcast, party podcast, Vegan Stephen's fictional character, all guests, allegedly fictional characters, all characters, events in this show, even though it's based on real people, are entirely fictional. Celebrity voices are impersonated poorly. The following program contains coarse language, and due to its content, should not be viewed by anyone. Subscribe now on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, tune in, sketch your follow on Insta, Gram, Gram, Gram. Dr. Boogie, man. I got my head up in the class, sort of, you know. What are we even? Just in the you did, yeah. cuckoo land, you know. Oops, jeez. Just in a world of, I used to have that as a child, just have my head up in the clouds. Never, never took a day off since, good man. Like that, fuck that. We're here drinking beers, we're here chatting about life, we're talking we're about cruise ships. literally. Yeah. Nine plus one. Talking about cruise ships, talking about... Uh, so going to crazy places, adventure. What, I'm waiting for that Hyperloop train to be built. Go on. Where's this? What's the Hyperloop? It's basically going to be a really, really, really fast train. And what country? Anywhere you can go from like um. Now this is like it's worldwide. Like supposedly in, in that you twenty can, years is it driven by magnets. It's kind of yeah through a vacuum as well, like elevated tube, which is a, it's like space because if you if you the speed you have to go in those things, you need to go through a vacuum, otherwise the g forces will crush you to death, like the euthanasia coaster. So oh, really? basically, you can get to it. Let's say you can get from, uh, let's say you can get from Dublin to New York in like uh, three hours on the Hyperloop. Yeah. And but the way it works is you go on the war tour. They go in like a tube, and it'd be like you, it, you'd be like being in an air. The the inside of the train actually the well the artist impression did the inside of the train. It looks like a airplane inside with airplane like windows. It's kind of Japan, Japan or. Everywhere, with, I know they. Where, where's it setting off? Like Switzerland. It's it's not. It's just it's just a kind of an idea. It hasn't. Ah, uh, jeez. I just wanted. I just wanted. They. They're fun, isn't it? I want to. I'll make it myself if they want to. It's my fucking thing. Cool, I man. invented it. You know? <laughs> so I'll be the first one on it anyway. Um, but um, I like. Have you ever gone on the self-driving trains in London? They have trains where there's no driver at all. Like literally, you get on, like you get on this train, and there's a man with the key in this machine. And he, yeah. once he turns the key, the door's closed, and the thing moves by itself. And he has to turn the key to open the door, and you get off. Uh, but the thing is, if you miss the train, like there's no like the way if you miss the train here, the driver sometimes presses the button and opens the doors for you again. Because yeah. it's a self-driving train, it doesn't know who missed the train and who didn't, so it's gonna keep going anyway. Not that there's more of them anyway. So, this is not like that. It's so cool because you you can go up to the front. It's just like being on like a mon. You're like those monorail trains that I you got in Simpsons. airports. Yeah. Like in, actually they they put in Heathrow they have these like pods now where you, it's literally like a cable car, except it goes along the monorail track and it takes you from the car park into the actual terminal building. It's fucking crazy. I think that's like Terminal Five in Heathrow. It's so futuristic. And like it's crazy, and as YouTube videos of it going from, and you literally go inside this capsule, and you literally press the button yourself inside Terminal Five. Go to Terminal Five, and you press the button. It's like you want to go this way. It's like like a lift or an elevator. You press the button yourself when you're inside. You know when you go in the lift and you press the button mm. to go. It's exactly it works the same way as that, except you press the button, the doors close, goes along the track, and it takes you to the terminal. And those things are. I don't think there's it's like something out of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. That's what I want. So Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> One of my Fair best enough. video games ever. But those kind of things, into those kind of fast kind of loop -de -loop things and crazy. And you, you would love race cars. Oh. Are you gonna get into them? I want to go to Ferrari World in Abu Dhabi. Next. I want to. I want to get into side. I want to like just spend a day with a professional race car driver you on the track. Be, are you just gonna be passenger or what are you doing? Well, yeah, I don't. Well, just to fast track the experience, I'll be a passenger. Because if I want to learn how to do, I will have to go through all the merrick rolling. I won't be able to have the thrill. Same with skiing. Like when I started out, it was no, it wasn't much of a thrill at all. Now it is, but mm. that took a while. But 
If I just want to fast track to spend a day, I can just be a passenger in the side of a car. My uncle actually, you know what he did? I didn't tell you what he did. He, um, yeah. He, what he did was he, um, he took us out, like he came over from England, he took us out on the motorway. Mm. He, I love when he drives. He literally knows I'm into all this thrill seeking stuff. Yeah. And the way his car is, he just he presses on the accelerator and you, you're you thrown back into your seat. And I'm always like, the acceleration to G-Force is somehow, G-Force is the one thing that's supposed to crush your bones. It yeah. does not hurt at all. It's actually a very pleasant feeling. What? G-Forces are super pleasant. Like, like even when you accelerate to 100 miles an hour in two, seven seconds, it's, it's when you get off the initial shock, it's actually so fucking pleasant. It's unbelievable. Similar to like when your stomach drops, you feel weightless. They're extremely pleasant feelings. Mm. So when he accelerates his car and I get thrown back into the seat, I love that feeling. So he decided just for a few seconds to go on the M1 mm. and we literally, guess how fast we went? Uh, 120? Miles per now an yeah. hour. He lit, well, not kilometers, but miles an hour. He went up to 120 miles an hour. Well, allegedly. <laughs> yeah. And, okay. and he just got out of prison yesterday for it. <laughs> 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 um, well, that's just a fast track to getting arrested now. Oh, <laughs> God. It was fucking hilarious. And my dad was like, uh, uh, Uncle, um, name, um, Uncle Boogie. Yeah, uh, don't Uncle go Boogie. fast. Uh, you might get done for it. <laughs> <He was> like, <laughs> It's fine, I know Dr. Boogie, he'll be grand. <laughs> and, uh, but that was something. That, in fact, you know what? Motorways are the safest roads actually to drive on. Really? Because they're just like straight, not like country roads where you can go around bends and crash into other cars. Like, sure. motorways, you're less likely to end up in an accident on a motorway than you are on an actual no no, normal roads, yeah. Because it's just everyone goes with the slow and you go the same way and you've got like the barrier in the middle which separates from people going this way and people going that way so, so that's why there's it's kind of safe like yeah apparently it's a lot safer than like normal that's roads that's like mental. that's why actually f flying is safer than driving flying is the safest mode of any form of transport in the world because from walking yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. it probably is i probably think it is so it depends where you walk like i suppose but at least with um, That's true. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> or who you fly with, you can Jesus fucking hell. Yeah. You still don't fly with that airline on that side of the world, Jesus. Wonder unless you have the coronavirus on the aircraft. Anyway, what well, what what, uh, what uh, there's a lot of coronavirus flying around. Yeah, literally, yeah. That's uh, not safe. Do you uh <laughs> without without getting to Politically correct or not? Ah, like, what's what's the updates? What's what do you know about it? Like, well, it's hit, it's hit a lot of places. They've is it in Ireland? Yeah, they've closed the school down for two weeks now because of it. In Ireland? Yeah, in Ireland. Yeah. What school? Sun School, Katrina, something like that. School, they, Katrina. They, they, school, they shut a school down in Ireland, like for two weeks because a student in there is suspected of having the coronavirus. So they. Taking safety measures. You imagine me in that fucking class clown just going, oh, oh, oh I think I'm sick. Whole, uh, whole school is sick day, you know, trying it's to get like, a sick, a sick day off just it's messing. Like you, it's like the teacher just gave a shit out of homework that night on the Monday yeah. night. And <laughs> the teacher tells you, right, if you don't do well in this test tomorrow, I'm putting you on detention. Yeah, it's like, well, I'm not. And this, then you, you yeah. get sick, then they just shut the whole school down. Yeah. That's so fucking. <laughs> That's almost better than the one who, like, there's people before it was the coronavirus, there's people, like, going on the internet and pretending to. Saying that they're going to shoot up a school here in Ireland. There's, a, there's in someone, Ireland. Yeah, in Ireland there was someone. There's some idiot in Bal, somewhere in Balbriggan. I'm not sure the name yeah. of the school that he decided it was a good idea to go. On. And things you get away with anything here. You get the fucking. He got away with it like with a like a stupid warning. Like in a, in some places you, you get, get away like with 20, a warning. He's joking. I wish I was like. Was it with the guards called and shit? Were the armed guards called? They were the armed guards came to the school and all that. The armed guards. The armed came. guards fucking the armed police came to the school. Because oh well, what happened is he man he went they went home for the evening school and then basically he went on the computer said look I am I am gonna shoot that school so if anyone doesn't want to get shot you better not come in tomorrow. I'm what? definitely so you don't have to do your homework tonight. Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> so, they, so, so then they he went on the went on and then. 
And clearly they don't learn the lesson. They think it's okay to do it. And the thing is, we're going to stop taking it seriously before someone who wants to come in will actually bring a fucking gun into school. And sh who did, did that in Scotland, actually someone took a gun into school. Now, I don't know if he shoot, shot up the place. I think the armed police went in and stopped him. But he decided as a prank to bring a gun into school. Uh, but in the school in Ireland here, it, it got closed for like, I think, two days as a precaution mission. The police were monitoring the school around the school. There's armed police near the school. And the guy who did it, like, because he, he apologised for it, he got away with it. Like, like, he just, like, don't do it again. And the thing is, people will hear that and they think, oh, you're not going to, well, we can get away with it. And guess what? Someone went and did the same thing for Kill Their Village. Like he, they threatened to go and shoot Kildare up. Village. Yeah, do you know the big outlet centre in Kildare Village? Are you getting on Sock One Three Five or something? Sock One Three, who's there? Sorry. But looking well anyway. No, you are yeah. <laughs> these chat, these <laughs> turned on here. <laughs> Keep going, I'm fucking shoot ups in Ireland. Fucking hell. They weren't. They're just like hoaxes. But like the thing is, they they don't stamp out like, and people keep doing it. One of those hoaxes could be real. So they need to kind of like, just like, take all of them seriously, so no one will do it. I mean, obviously it's not as straightforward as that, but the fact that people are... Now, obviously they have to take each one seriously, but I worry, like, if they keep on doing that, they might start taking it less seriously and being less vigilant. I, I, and that's when they strike, it's when you you got your back turned. Is there anyone in Ireland who would be bothered doing that? Like, <laughs> like I'm just... I'm just oh, I would, yeah. There's Guinness to be had. There's fucking football oh. to be watched. That football's not going to watch itself. Like. There's a Shamrocks to pick and all. There's, you got fucking there's Paddy Shea coming up. There's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Top there's of the morning. No. Uh, CBD just became legal. Like, life's pretty good right now. No, no one would do such. No, how could they? Uh, nah, that's just blow up the whole country. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so then they... So with about... The place in Balbriggan, they closed the school for two days. A man got a warning, so got away with it. So then he went and did it to kill their village. So got the armed police out there as well. The same dude. I don't know. I don't think it's the same, but obviously someone else who decided to saw that case and realized, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll do it. It's like you can get away with murder here. I can do it. <laughs> That's the thing. They don't. There's no deterrent here. So they, they people do things like that. I like, oh well, I can do it. He only got that. I can do it myself. I yeah. have no previous convictions, so I'll get away with it. I, let me have a bit of fun for once because I'm bored, I've nothing better to do and, and I'll just go and pretend I'm going to blow up or shoot up a, a shopping centre. Jeevers. <laughs> I mean, like, well, what sort of reaction? A guy did it um, on the League of Legends game website and he got like 20 years in prison in yeah, America. Yeah, I was watching something like that, yeah, it happened. Like, that was just... And he was only he was only like a teenager. And, yeah, yeah. And you ever heard of like swatting? Yeah, I had to ring up the guards and let what? them know about this gaff and stuff. Oh, I won't shit. say anything else about it, but uh Fucking hell. Uh just to let them know and all that stuff. Jeez. Why well, yeah, fucking hell, that's scary. I just like when you're an internet person you just gotta let the guards know and all that shit and Especially oh, sh shit like that. I mean, that's. I mean, actually, because in America, actually, someone got killed because um, they were house swatted, and the armed police mistook them for a gunman. He shot shot him dead. Yeah. And so that's so because of someone else decided to swap them as a prank. Yeah. Chris Hansen's big on YouTube at the moment. Oh, the oh yeah, the really yeah. Is he still doing that? Or is he doing something else? Uh, is he still catching predators. Oh, fuck, I don't know, man. He's scraping, he's begging for views anyway on the YouTubes. No, I, he should I, be getting I, lots already because he does all that. He catches like stings. He's good at stings. Yeah, he's very good, isn't he? He's very good. Mind you, nothing is good as those stinger bars, those sour stinger bars. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, very, I wish I had one. That's had... great candy, man. That's <laughs> great candy. <laughs> that's Christian Aguilera, Joe. <laughs> Singing that song. Oh no, we we tried that. We were fucking mad beer. I know. You got the, we got some mad ass Japanese mm. shit. Mm. It's gonna be we were on here. We should finish it. We should try that. We oh, do a review man. of it. This is a good time to do it. Isn't it? It's, an, it's a it's fucking a Rick. weird one because we can't. I, I don't know what the I don't know the legality of. I think I'm not meant to mention labels, but unless they sponsor or something, I can't really remember what. Well, free advertising for them. I'm sure they'd be pretty pleased with it, would not they? Get free advertising. We'll, we'll, we'll just we'll only say the first letter of it or something. And well, you can read out guys. the first syllable and then just yeah. yeah. Oh my god, the god. writing's in Japanese and everything. This is proper fucking shit, this man. Is, uh, I've never had this before. Man, this None of us have ever tried this before. Uh, 
this stuff is fucking, it's a big commitment, like, I think it was a few bob a bottle as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, and it's recommended to us as well yeah, at the shop. Yeah, it's a super nice lad. Absolutely, uh, yeah. <laughs> Try something, something, something. Oh, my God. Uh, something, beer. the name of it is absolutely bonkers. It's really cool. You can it down, right? I just, yeah, that, it's so neat, that writing. Look at that. Yeah. So b black holes and all that shit, man. We're talking about. I saw two black holes on YouTube getting married. It took a billion years apparently <laughs> that to happen. Yeah. And they're still trying to get trying to nod. The wedding ceremony's gone on for like three billion years. How, how real, real do you think ghosts are, man? I'd say they're very real. In very my real. opinion, I think they're oh god as real as. What What was your definition of ghosts? So, like, what when you say go when I say ghosts, I think of a lad running around in a sheet. What like what when you say ghosts, what do you mean? I'm just like a. A fancy word, esoterical, like ethereal, like. Uh, so, uh, if you want to be a, complicated, a gas floating around. Almost like gas, like a, just someone of less denser kind of energy. So you wouldn't be able to see them around that mess in there. You might be able to in certain situations. You could, possibly could, um, but m maybe not all the time. They can take different forms. They like morph into different shapes. They can do that, I think, because they're much more flexible with their bodies. Could, could you mention like any references of any kind? Well, like orbs, for example. Orbs. Orbs okay. of light. They, there's like little lights flying around. Um, you... But typically, girls are look are a transparent version of what you look like right now. So whatever you look like, if you're a ghost, you just be a see through. It's, you're like, it's like a hologram. Basically, you know, like a hologram. You ever yeah. you seen a hologram? Like, there's, oh, I'm there's, gonna be freaked the fuck out now. There's actually, Why did I talk about this? There's actually, um, actually, sh do I see that Robert Patterson film we were talking about earlier now? Oh, the high life, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. on. I mean, that now, sp sp spoilers. spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> should I wait till we see it or should I spoil uh, no, it? No, I won't. Yes, yeah, fucking spoil it now, man. Well, well, it is absolutely one of my... Now, it's nothing to do with Ghosts or all, but it's it's equally as bizarre in its own way. If yeah. not more... I think Ghosts are very much, like, not bizarre at all. That, but this shit here is not necessary. There's lots of different types of Ghosts, actually, but... um, But with there's this... Fat ones, ugly ones. There's ghouls, there's... Uh, Goblins. There's sexy ones. There's... Getting um, low jobs of ent paranormal entities. Apparently they just like, look, most of the girls, majority of girls, I mean the way, when I first learned about girls, I was only like five or six years old, and I just, I remember this, and I absolutely love, these teachers, these two teachers in this particular school were great, about 120% of the time they were fucking amazing. Right. And just one of their amazing times, what they did was, near Halloween, we were first introduced to the concept of ghosts. Yeah. Um, with it in a way, and I just remember coming back home to my cousins in the house mm. and just going fucking hyper. We made ghosts like we tried to make ghosts in our class with like strips of like what's that kind of that kind of skin paper? What's that called? What do you call that kind of piece? What was different Pretty colors? Much a it's like tracing paper, something like that. There's a name, there's a name for it. I can't remember what it is. It's, oh, fuck. Papers, skins. It's, it's kind of like that paper, but it's kind of see-through paper, and it comes in. It's like tr tr transparent. Kind of, oh, you sure it's not a tracing paper, no? No, there's another more fancy name for it, which <laughs> they art teachers would say use that, and they constantly drill you with that name. And I can't remember. Art teachers what it is. are always talking about tracing paper. <coughs> it was something else. I definitely remember it was something else because it, it came in lots of different colors. Mm. Um, it was um, something like that. I'm trying to think. Do you know what? Um, I it have is? it. I can. I can get it in my hand right now if I help you. No, I know what it looks like. I know what it is. Um, it's uh, it's not That's even that. Way. No, it's not that. It's not quite that. It's more like um, those skins you have. Oh. More like along those lines. Mm. No, I, I know. I know what it looks like. I know what it is, but I don't know the name of it. Yeah. It's hard to explain what it is. It's, it's very. It is like, a little bit like tracing paper, and it's it's. But it can come in different colors. It's. Oh, there's this shit as uh, well. I don't know what that. Probably not. No, it wouldn't yeah. be that. This would be invisible. It is invisible. <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? It's fucking hell, you yeah. Got a few camouflage lessons going here. Camouflaging going. How can this be invisible? Mental. That's fucking crazy. It's augmented reality for you. Mm. Nah. It's almost like the green is on a different frequency because they can't see it. And that's like the ghost paranormal entities, they're mm, different frequencies, we can't exactly. fucking see it. Ah! Oh, yeah! So we were basically creating our own ghosts through augmented reality. 
and you can replicate these things. Now um, that, where the fuck did you get these from? Well, wow. Uh, but you can. Hey, oh, I you, you can, I don't, can you see yourself in the mirror there? I thought you put this over your face up. Well, you can, yeah, I just didn't want to do it to you in case. Oh, I don't mind. Like um, but yeah, I don't know. You do anything. Green um, stuff is it's the best. Go on, go on. I just. <laughs> uh, can you see yourself there in the. Yeah. Pretty can't, can you? I'll take my hat off, sorry. Oh, no, you're grand. No, it's no need to do it. I just take it out for a sec just to be like, wait. Hey, I'm hiding. <laughs> I'm hiding. We, in bye one of the bye. episodes, we had uh, our bye, bye, I don't like any of this. Loads of people were asking, like, how did you get your face to disappear? And oh, I said, just tell them. I'm a magician. I serve my craft. If you, you need <laughs> I'm to not pay me a million you. dollars, and I'll tell you. And you have to sign a contract where you're not allowed to tell anyone else. Yeah. Because they have to pay to five, five euro for everyone. That's revealed. No face. I'm headless. I'm like the headless ghost that goes around my eye castle. Yeah. Puck. That you, the Puck, the story about him is a little bit kind of, un, you know, like unrequited love. Unrequited love, yeah. Never heard about that? No, never. No such thing. Yeah. Whatever. But anyway, he did. Um, and he basically committed suicide. He he went to the drawing. In, they have like a drawing room, which is basically like a big dining room. Yeah. Who do you love? Just some woman like some woman, some servant in the castle, which, like, he... Like, he was the rich owner or something, was he? Some no, I think owner. he was a butler. He was a butler, actually. Oh, so. And he basically fell in love, but she didn't fall in love with him back. And mm. he struggled over that, and then he eventually hung himself from the drawing room gallery. There's, like, a mm. gallery on top, and he put a rope around his neck, jumped off that. Mm. And so it's said that he lives inside. There's a door down it, and the legend has it. When you go on a tour, they bring you into the dining room, and there's like a door going up to the gallery, and in the door is supposed to be where the ghost of Puck lives. Mm, so that's not like a castle. Yeah, but there's apparently, there's, he's not the only ghost there, it's apparently he's haunted by seven ghosts. There's another legend, there's another legend that goes around saying that on Halloween or sometimes there's a headless ghost on a horse that goes around Malahide Castle at a certain time of year. And if you're there at the right time, you might see it, like if it's a full moon or something like that. I think I, I saw him on one of those dating sites. Really? I think I saw that headless horse on one of those dating sites man, from Malahide. Oh really? Oh that's... Well, yeah. what's your name? My name is something like... Headless Sexless. Dr. Boogie's sister. Oh yeah. Like oh no yeah. Well that needs to happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd, that'd, be, that'd, be, that'd be awesome. No. <laughs> so space, space and time and black holes and... Time doesn't exist. Time doesn't exist. Apparently, people's not. eyes looking like fucking black uh, holes. Black holes. They do. Well, wait, wait till, wait till you look into their eyes and they start dilating. Mm. It, it lo always looks much. That's why. That's why. When they, it kind of looks like they're teary eyed. Yeah. You know, like when they're just about to cry. You look. As long as they're not not distressed or anything like that, because that's very like pleasant to look at. <laughs> but um, <laughs> um <laughs> so you look into their eyes, look into my eyes, mm. and you start when you when you start dilating, it's like, yeah, they look. They're almost like they look like sort of. You can tell the difference. You can tell they're not gonna cry, but they they do kind of have that kind of liquidy look. Does someone say beer review? What's that? Someone say beer review. Beer review. Oh, well, that, we'll try that in a few minutes. Well, eh? Liquidy. Yeah, but they have this like liquidy, the liquidy look in their eyes. And mm. people with his really fucked up shit, paranormal mm. stuff. Uh, someone who had a near death experience went up to, into the center of the universe, supposedly. Right. And they said when they went to the source of all creation, mm. and it begins with G. Is that near the, by the Alex Center? Yeah, it is. Yeah, oh, yeah it's, yeah, it's yeah, down Moore okay. Street. Actually, right, yeah, okay. that's all the, the the where the party pills shop used to be. Yeah. yeah. Oh fuck that! I wish that was still there. <laughs> <laughs> but um. So here, this source of all creation by Lick Street there. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> and the person said that what he experienced was like he felt like he was like in the eyes, and he said he was looking into what was described as liquidy love. Mm. It literally said like he described it in, and I'm assuming it's means the same thing, just a more extreme version of it, because it's a, a whole fucking universe full of it. It's just like, imagine the whole... Do you know what more equally as pleasant to look at? No, wait, what, look at, which I used to be as a kid. I used to sit in my shed, blow a bubble, just so it's on the, uh, the brush itself, the thing you, you blow into, I don't know what it's called. And I blow it big enough, not big that will pop, but it would just sit there and I just look at the 
colours floating around in That's it. That's amazing. And to me, it's, and I was just mesmerised by that. I'd sit in that shed for hours just doing that. Yeah. I fucking loved it. And then, and then I'd just be mesmerised by that. Yeah. And that, I think that's something along the same lines. When you, when people describe that experience and all, it's like something very similar. It's not far off it. Mm. So when you look into eyes which are dilating like that and the reason being is the reason for that lovely look which is so like strange is the eye the black bit in the center grows bigger that's called the iris is it the iris, i think the iris yeah and even though when that gets bigger you think it should just make the eyes dark it doesn't it actually makes it look much more shiny so it does the opposite effect to make it dark it makes it more glowy and shiny so what even be the explanation that the, the water content goes up in the eye or something I'm sure there's like lots of like veins in the eye and like, uh, like things run yeah. and some probably something to do with the adrenaline as well adrenaline, I, I think right. adrenaline makes your eyes dilate because um, as well cause it's yeah. w when you see something amazing that you really like or even if you see something terrifying apparently it does the same thing as well you're because because your eyes trying to adjust to something extreme and it's same if you turn the lights off suddenly your eyes will dilate as well while it because the reason it has to kind of adjust so we even when you're in even now i don't know how the adrenaline and thing relate but i think you have to when your whole body has to adjust to a whole situation if it's stimulated or if it's around it's they consider it some sort of an arousal mm. so when you're when anything's aroused sexually or otherwise or in a fear you can be aroused by fear or excitement your eyes will so if you let's say or the vegan steven podcast you can be aroused <laughs> by that yeah <laughs> You better be, or Vegan Steven he's going to murder you. For sale now, Vegan Steven Glass for sale now. <laughs> but if you, let's say you were a kid and you you were, you, you like going on holidays and you thought you worked for another school morning, they told you, you're not going to school, you're actually, we're actually going away to Spain for a week. You would be, your eyes, what would happen to your eyes is they will dilate. Mm. And they'll look at your eyes and they'll look, they'll look probably shocked, but their eyes would look all liquidy, like a bubble. Can you imagine if your parents were just fucking with you and they're like you don't have to go to school ever again we're moving to Africa and then you're like oh my god I love you parents and then you're just like oh, no you're do you fucking have to stupid ass kids <laughs> you're going to school <laughs> I'm going to Africa for two weeks with your, with your mom I, I, <laughs> you're staying here with fucking I don't know the teacher <laughs> my dad did that to me something a bit like not, not nearly as bad as that but April Fool's 1st of April yeah the took April Fool's Day I woke up for school and my dad came into bed and was like, Oh, Tenny, your school is off. It's a power cut. He's like, April Fool's. Oh, like, that's oh, cruel. That bollocks. is cruel. That is <laughs> Oh, cruel. my God. But here we go. Me and him, when it comes to pranks, oh, my fucking God. We're going to have to talk about pranks for now. Mm. Me and him, like, well, he did more to me, but I did one prank to him. Mm. Now's the end of it. So he did another prank on me when... We were in Spain, me and my sister were having a big... We were walking up in the mountains, mm. and me and my sister got into a bit of a fight. Like, I, think the, I think the, the Dr. Boogie family house is on the top of a mountain or something, is it? I heard. Yeah, something like that, yeah. On top of a, some a windy... Vineyard. Yeah, some sunny mountain or something yeah, like sorry, that. Sorry, going and the boogie he, family were boogieing on holiday or something. We were boogieing, I was boogieing... Well, not so much boogieing, but like more like anti-boogieing. And so then she kind of walked ahead and I was trying to put my sandal on properly. Sandals? Next, sandals. Where sandals are fucking are sandals? So funny. sandals. <laughs> they are. And I, I never ran so fast in my life in fucking sandals. Or in any shoes, but in fucking sandals. Yeah. So basically, I heard this hissing from the bush, like, from the bush, like, like and I fucking sacked, shit, run, get out of here, there's a snake. I fucking legged it. And my dad came out of the bush and he was just in fucking stitches. My my sister's like, here, look, look, look behind you. It's like, it's dad. I was like, and you couldn't, you, he almost probably had a heart attack from laughing like, after yeah. the prank. And, and then a couple of years later, he did another prank on me, April Fool's Day. <laughs> now, well, there, there's a backstory to this. Um, he bought me my first laptop, and uh, well, yeah, and then I broke that the mm. screen and all that, and then mm. he was fine about that. He wasn't mad or anything like that. He realized the first one. Then he got me another one, and then um, so then like two weeks later, which is two weeks later was April Fool's Day. Yeah. So I decided. Oh, well, uh, so basically, what I did, I asked my mum, um, "All right, I'm going to put a piece of paper inside the front bit." 
close it over and it's got a, in all caps April Fools close the thing over and I put it in the case put it on the table and I asked my parents and sister to be play a part in the prank I told them what would happen and as soon as my dad came home and he said well this ski resort has been buried by an avalanche that we used to go to every year he said we can't go here anymore it's been buried now by an avalanche and we were like Ah, uh, April Fools. And this is where this April Fools backfired. Yeah. So then, and then my mum said to him, um, well, and the way she did it, it was so perfect. She acted like, she, the way her tone and voice, she acted like she was in a really, really bad mood. Mm. She said, well, I'm glad you're in a good mood. And she did it so perfectly, like much better than I did. She said, I'm just blessed so perfectly. And my dad was like, why? And my mum was like, look what's on the table. And the laptop. Uh, my dad said, oh, how how did you manage to break this one now? You only had this for one or two weeks. And I went over and was like, oh, well, I'll, I'll show you. Um, and he just stood there with the most angry look on my face. like, And I was looking away at my sister and my mum in there in yeah. the living room, just trying not to laugh. Like, and my dad was just really angry and leaning on the, on the verge of not giving it away. And, yeah. and they were kind of all right, like, trying to hold it in better than I was because I was opening the case I was pretending to be like nervous like oh, I'm sorry I'm sorry I opened the case and I was like April Fool's he's like ah oh, you little shit like <laughs> slapping my head like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like yes That's finally so after all good. these times I got him back after all that time ah uh, epic <laughs> Fucking, I mean, that was my best prank I ever did on anyone, really. Yeah. I've done a few since, but nothing, nothing like, quite like that. I'm dying to do the jelly prank where you put a lot of jelly in someone's toilet and then they go for a piss in their toilet and they just piss on themselves because it bounces back. <laughs> or else, you know, yeah. What? You just put, stick it, you just leave it, you just, you know, a pack of jelly, you just drop it in the toilet overnight if you're staying the night in someone's gaff. Really? It, go, it turns into a lot of jelly and they, they can't flush it around. <laughs> Until they so if you don't like them, them, you can just put Jerry in the toilet. Yeah. It's so, like right, you you make me you make me break you steal my lover. <laughs> and it's Jerry gone in the fucking toilet. Jerry gone in the toilet. Jerry on the toilet. Yeah. You be wobbly, we be lot of piss. Gotta take the piss. Ah, <laughs> oh, you just be so confused just seeing a lot of Jerry in the toilet. Like. It's like that's the boomerang. It comes back to you. Oh, it is the time of times where. Uh, we're opening this mystery. We're promoting. This is get. This is getting real. Heavy getting on. Tag and white. You're looking. You're looking gravy. Isn't that rain out there? It's rain. Ah, oh, it's rain. Time. So I tell is you the last time. Zero twenty one three. Third of the third twenty twenty. <gasps> third of the third. Oh, three three two zero. Are you okay with that thing? They're doing yeah, that yeah, no, I'm grand, yeah. Invisible fucking... No, oh, look at that. We're gonna... Just, you cover it and you, the only thing you can see is liquid. Nothing else, like... It's just out of thin air. Man, this bottle is gorgeous, but like, I need to cover it up a tiny bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I think we got the no idea of where it came from. What it is. So, I'll just cover up that later, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can still see what it says and all that. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, sure, we'll remember. Uh, Just remember, it's written up here as well. So this is a. Uh, you might want to cover this bit here because it's written. The name of uh, it's up here. I think it'll be alright. Alright. Right. Right. Yeah. Sorry. There we go. Um. <laughs> now, now I'll read out the name. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's on the top of the lid here anyway. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Okay. It's Konnichiwa the Japanese one, is it? Yeah, it's Japanese. Yeah. It means hello in Japanese. It means uh, go fuck yourself in yeah. in uh, American or something like that. <laughs> that, was, that we had, a, we, we had a Japanese teacher in our school. You're trying to open the. Uh, uh, this is the awkward <laughs> thing. Uh, like, uh, do you know this fucking bottle happening? No one has a bottle open. You're there trying to be like, no, I'll try. Like, this is everyone. You're just trying, yeah, trying to. Oh, I know, I just Trying to open, find see if there's a key so you don't have to ask. Like, a fucking We had, a, we had a Japanese funny. teacher, like, uh, like uh, when he was fourth class teaching us Japanese, and it was so funny. Like, he used to be like, so sit down. He used to be like, shit down, shit down, just oh, like shit messing. down. Yeah, well, see, he, he was, was Japanese, like, was he? Where is he from? He was Japanese himself, but he was just messing with us. Like, he was absolutely brilliant. So good. He was better than the teacher we had, the regular teacher. Be heard. Oh my fucking god! I swear to God. Yeah, I love those substitute teachers, man. They have so much enthusiasm. They do. Uh, yeah, but well, I tell you what, yeah, they're fucking amazing. Mm. Oh fuck! This is the review. So here we go. This there's, is a, it. there's a good few bit, bits in this beer. This is our first ever 
we've never tried this in our entire life. This is a, this is a rite of passage moment. It's called Ashiai or something. And Sadi. A Sony Super Dry is brewed by authentic Japanese recipe and stuff like that. Here we like go. That. This is it. So, personally, I, I hate beer, but this is meant to be so good that the guy in the shop was just like, listen, lads, you got to try this. And then Dr. Boogie said a joke or something, and the guy started laughing, the flipping house down. Um, so, there you are. Oh, this is nice. It's very light. Like It feels like, you, it's almost like water, but in a nice way, like really, really good water. Mm. Jesus, look how happy that is. Well, here's a story about when I left here once, after uh, after a show, I I braved the helicopter going out, and I thought I was zapped by aliens. That's why I told you, man, in the shop, because yeah. of a huge, big white flash. We're not used to a lot of lightning the here. The guy nearly fucking died laughing, like. <laughs> he thought, just, I, don't know, like I, I have to ask Dr. Boogie, like, what did you say to that man, word per word? I just figured out, well, he's having a good day, let's keep the vibe going. I was like, <laughs> fuck it. Pain. I was like, well, he, he seemed like the kind of guy that you could just kind of say anything to and you could just like have a, have a chat. And he was still working and all that, like, mm. he's like, let's, let's make his day interesting. Man, I'm dying to see this Robert Patterson film. He's, he was in that film Twilight and I, to be honest, I tried to watch film. I, I didn't hold up, you know, there's a bit of stigma behind, oh, maybe it's like Twilight or some bullshit. Oh, yeah. So turn it off. This is but very different though. You might watch it later on, but yeah, it's this got something to do with black holes and shit. And you were saying it's real scary and all these things. Like it's just you know, funny. Thing? I think it's not like it's psychologically scary. Do so. you remember roughly the name of that off the top of your head? We looked it up already. High life. And the year, aren't like that now. Oh, it was only last year. Last year, so it was yeah. like 2019. Yeah, yeah, 2019. Or, yeah, I think it was 2019 or Time late 2019. 25 minutes past midnight. Grand. I think it was like late 2018 or early 2019. It was within the last two years anyway. Mm. But it wasn't, was, I don't remember it being way too long ago, but it was an absolutely, it very kind of, I'd put it this way, unconventional movie. Like in you know, like indie stuff is normally unconventional. Yeah. That's how, that's the best way I could describe indie stuff. It's just off the wall. Kind of, and I'm into all that kind of stuff, off the wall stuff. Um, it's not like a typical like FIFA or anything like those games. It's like stuff where you join a spiral and you could transform into a caterpillar and go into a diff and next thing you know you could be uh, walking around a clothes shop. Really off the wall stuff that doesn't even make sense. Mm. The next thing you know you're being you're jumping over shadows like really off the wall stuff. But yet there's there's some sort of um, sense to it. This is very fucking watery, isn't it? But in a good way. It is, yeah. It's, it's a very mental. like mental. It's like water, but it's not. It's fucking. It, it's like watered down beer, but it doesn't taste crap. It's crazy. What That's exactly what I thought. I don't know what time you your man was over there, but if this was in if this is in a hot summer, they get hot summers over there in Japan. He would. This would be welcoming. This is the number one beer apparently in Japan, according to the label. <laughs> wow. I mean that. They are. <laughs> they're telling. Uh, Ashuni beer is brewed from quality ingredients. Wow. Using our pure and advanced, Ashuni has truly refreshing. You can enjoy the great taste of the beer. The beer. So it's all in Japanese here, so I have to translate it on the spot. Go Google Translate. I'll do anything here for you guys. He's not even using Google Translate, that's Google. how good he is. Yeah. I'm multi, uh, multi timbrel. <laughs> <laughs> Timberlingo. Man, uh, I was studying coronavirus and not only that, swine flu and Ebola to try and figure out how the impact over time is going to have because they're saying the economy of China might not bounce back very quick. Mm. If you Add in bird flu as well. If you com if you compare it to uh, how, long it took the, how long it took the Russian economy to come back after Chernobyl. Oh Jesus Christ, yeah. So, because apparently de business is down by a third and that's only based on people's perception. So what's actually going on there? Because they lied about the numbers allegedly. And the thing is, the fact that you said it, it's not going to bounce back quick. I some says to me it's going to go down even further. Mm. That's time to sell your stocks. But why is it time to sell though? Because it's in a big trend. It's in a. But, I mean, that's a very fast moving the, trend. The, the big people though, all the big lads say, just just leave the money in there, because it will come back. It's going to come back anyway. Well, why not put more money in? 
make money going that way and when it comes back take that money out and put it back in the other way i, I was saying to people uh, well <laughs> i'm putting my money in china now because now's the time to put money in because you're getting the stock of fuck all and it's going to go up a third within i don't know five years i just maybe that's a good idea but right the way i like see it it's like if, it, if it's going not perhaps not yeah thinking about trading i'm not thinking about making a quick 50 euro i'm, t I'm talking about making long term but even this way you can make long term as well like it's if it's gone trends gone against you when it when it gets to real unusual that is when you jump in yeah that is when you jump in. if you know if if and it's all fundamentals you kind of have to base it on the you have, you always always look at the fundamentals before you look at the technicals the technical is like it's going this way and you think oh now you should buy back because it's gone down a lot that's the one biggest mistake people make is they think oh it's going to turn the other way mm. when more likely it's going to continue actually that's the one big mistake people th and the thing is because they just think it just went such a just went a huge leap in one direction they think if you are going to go the other direction kind of look at the fundamentals and think w first of all know why it's gone that way so deep and obviously in this case it's the virus but if you know like how first of all while the coronavirus is still spreading and still spreading the fact as long as it continues to spread that thing is going to keep going because mm -hmm. people are going to people are going to become more scared it's going to be more scared mongering and people think and remember they gave the name a fancy name so that people think that it's a more of a killer like someone will be fearing for the life when actually a normal fever can kill more people than a coronavirus so the longer, but it's a, almost as long as the superstitious of that name, even though like very few people, compared to the people who might have got it and the people that died, the the ratio of deaths to the people who recovered from it is extremely small, smaller than like even illnesses which are supposedly a lot less serious. Like people with like just a general flu have a much higher mortality rate than the coronavirus. Right. So, but but as long as there's superstition and scaremongering. That thing is going to continue, and as long as it keeps spreading, no. If they if they are very afraid of it in their own country, they're f more afraid to go to China. So therefore, that thing is going to keep going down. We're talking with the economy. Yeah, the economy is going to keep going down uh -huh. because the fact that they're afraid it came, the source of it was came from there, and if mm. it's still spreading, it, like if they don't want, if they're afraid to go out of their homes, why would they suddenly go to China then? It wouldn't make sense really to go to China if you're afraid to go, like to. The school because one student had it you wouldn't be going up to china all of a sudden so stock market seems to be based on people's perception of what's happening oh absolutely but not necessarily what is happening i think it's a bit of both to be honest it's not as black and white as that right. i think it's very kind of detailed uh, like there's a lot of fundamentals to it as well so I, I, I mean this is my opinion that's what i think like why would the economy all of a sudden turn around sudden quickly now where right now it's going to keep going this way it's just getting worse. Mm -hmm. It will eventually turn around, obviously, yeah. But it will, but I don't think it's going to happen just yet. I think it needs to go a little bit more. I think it could go down halfway, I'd say, realistically. And then maybe turn it around. Yeah. So I, so get your money in there. Sell get it. Get it in. Get it in. Go on to those brokers and put, press the sell button. What? Have a stop loss of maybe 300 pips. I have to take profit up a thousand. There you go. Well, this is not financial advice, um, allegedly. This is allegedly educate informational purposes only. If I am not responsible for any of your people who if, lose all your livelihoods. If I do the uh, disclaimer at the start and it says fictional show and all that stuff, right? Yeah. But then if we say something is allegedly, does that cancel out the disclaimer? And then it's like fact, 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 fact. Is it? Jeez, I didn't check this on it. It's, it's like a double negative, do you know that kind of way? Uh, if yeah. I'm saying I'm not, not in yeah, front of the keyboard. Yeah, 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 I know, yeah. Does that, do legal disclaimers cancel themselves out? Is there is that within the realm of possibilities? I don't think so, no. Right. I don't think it's not within the realm of possibilities. There, open and shut case. Ask and answered. <laughs> Next. Well, the fact is we mentioned, you didn't, you, the only thing you'd have to do is is like say like this is not part of the disclaimer then you're fucked then you might have a problem but but that thing unless you change that that disclaimer should apply like right to the very end 
Like we can whatever. say whatever we want in between that. The, the disclaimer doesn't reply to unless you specific specifically say that it applies to double negatives. Then I don't think it does. Oh, possibly. <laughs> Damn! Taking taking the school, man. Taking the school. <laughs> Happy days. That's what I think possibly. So I don't think we need to worry about that. So the c Corona. Uh, so one day Corona. Oh yeah, I was I was thinking about buying some Corona beer in the shop today. I was just oh, for was novelty factor. You, you imagine, uh, imagine to go on that and then trying to make your man laugh with that. Oh, he'd be laughing his head off. He seemed like an easy pleaser. Like he seemed like a, an easy crowd to be honest. I think he would have laughed at. Yeah, uh, we did. didn't. We didn't take much to set him off that lad. Like. <laughs> I think you saw that. Like it was like two lads in the shop, and the way we were kind of talking, I was like, ah, yeah, he's one of us. Like fuck it, we'll help him yeah. out. Like, all right, great, we'll do the same. We'll, yeah. We'll, we'll kind of, we'll just kind of reciprocate the situation here, and we'll. We'll keep going until we do something really fucking crazy, mm. and then we'll fucking take them to another dimension. Yeah, like and the I, I, I don't hear I, I, a, a, a corona job. So corona, swine flu, and just sort of things. Ebola. Apparently, they found that they, it's the China, fucking uh, the the fucking mm -hmm. they they thought it was swine flu, and they found the first cases was like in December or some shit. And they, you probably know way more about this. I don't. Uh, no, I don't. Didn't I know think, this. I think you might have heard some some whispers. I the only thing I know is like the they the reason why they get these things. A lot of these things come from there is because of the stuff they eat there. They eat pretty much other than humans. Well, they eat everything else. I don't else. understand why that matters. Like obviously that makes that's common sense to people, but for me it's not common sense. I, they, apparently bats are the worst thing you can eat. They're like incubators for all these fucking diseases. Well, they shit. give like rabies but and all that. I don't that. know why. The thing is over there, they eat those things. Which is why they get these things. They eat just some of the most crazy... And I'm, I'm not being racist or anything, but they just eat crazy stuff. Like, I mean, they, they eat like snakes, brains and things like that. I, I don't even understand why that's weird, though. Oh... I don't know, yeah, well, like, yeah. To, to me, like, eating a cat or eating a cow is kind of the same, so to me, eating yeah. a cow, eating a snake, I, 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 I there's obviously, there, there is obviously a, but a I think reason, but I just may, hasn't clicked for it me It may not necessarily be weird, but I think it just, they, they just have a more probable... I'm not even I just mean they haven't figured it out. Yeah, I think just more probably, it's more probable that the, the things that they eat are more likely to contain these viruses than, like, right. stuff that they may not, like, we may not have such now I'm not saying we're completely risk free but I think it's less likely with the stuff that we have it's less likely to have those viruses I mean it depends and rather there, than the things like they have is it like the intestines or something something that is I think there's certain body parts eating, yeah I think there's certain they are eating possibly yeah I think there's certain kind of parts that they kind of eat possibly that would have a higher chance than if they didn't eat other parts Appar of animals apparently the market in Wuhan is actually like illegal so it's, I don't think it's even being racist going like Oh, they're eating this because it's outlawed and all the rest. Of it. Oh, okay. um, so we'll expose it. Well, <laughs> it's mm -hmm. it's exposed itself, but um, how SARS virus was the same thing apparently. It yeah, was, it was same. an illegal uh, meat marker or whatever to do with. Uh, and the thing is, and the thing is, it's more likely from illegal because it's not going to be regulated by health boards and things uh, like that, sanitation. Uh, so obviously, when it's illegal, there's the health does doesn't come into it. So. It's like a, starting a bushfire, you could start something and it just blows up the whole country. It's equivalent to that, instead of a bushfire, it's just like a virus. A, a bushfire works the same way, it starts in one place and it goes everywhere and it spreads. Uh, sh surely, like, like, this would have spread eventually, though, surely. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, like, in like a thousand years, or is that not how it works? What do you mean a thousand years? Though? Like, do you know the way it was cr created, it was on some bat or something? Actually, there's actually another rumor going around that the virus was created in a lab. Oh yeah, I, st I started that man. Oh, you did. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh. I st when I was talking about that, I was like, but it seemed I was like, this sounds a bit like. <laughs> and then I heard loads of other people saying, I was like, God damn it! Why didn't I patent being a conspiracy theorist? Oh Everyone... shit! Yeah, yeah, I think you may have said that in the other podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, it's just a generic conspiracy. I'm just plagiarizing your stuff. So. Yeah, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, but um. Yeah, but they. What's that conspiracy? I said it was it was used to get uh, people out, the foreigners out of their country and all this stuff. Oh, I would. Yeah, that um, they, they probably want them out. Like, yeah, go take the virus elsewhere, you fucking cons. Oh well, not in that kind of way. No, no, not yet. 
Uh, man, I was telling people that they're welding the door shut to the apartment box and they were I was saying, no, they're not. And was, there's really? videos on YouTube they're doing, like, there's a lot, a lot of videos. Have you seen anyone walk around with a mask yet? In Ireland, yeah, yeah. in Dublin, yeah. Saw so, one today. Yeah. Gone through the train station. Yeah. Oh, I, saw, I saw a good few people and that was on Friday. Oh, wow. They're shit. all coming off buses, though. They're all travelling. Fucking hell. They weren't, like, uh, like with suitcases, they weren't like. Jesus. Uh, what were we talking about? There like was a, there's a train, the Belfast train, the Enterprise train that had to be like someone suspected of bringing the coronavirus on the train from Northern Ireland down to Ireland. Typical Brits, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> textbook. Textbook. I oh, would just bring it around. <laughs> <laughs> right. Coronavirus it is. I'm I I'm not, I'm slagging I'm not slagging the accent I promise. My accent used to be like when I was younger. I'm not joking. I actually had a British accent when I was younger. What? I I actually did. Yeah, I actually fucking did. And it was a very strong accent. Oh, and is that real? I, yeah, it was. I actually did have that accent. That's your real. I thought you were just messing with me. Did that? That's your real. Oh no, it's not. It's not now. I used uh, to be. You but used, used to, to be talk I use I don't anymore. The way I'm talking now is real, but like, but, but when maybe I you're talk, just denying like, who you really are. But but not at all. I just because I lived here long enough to <sighs> pick up the accent. But a lot of people still think it hasn't gone away yet completely. Like and even some people. You're well spoken to today. Fucking asking and still English. Like, I don't know. I'm Irish. I think you should definitely keep the accent up, man. If that's fucking. Oh, no. That's that's, fuck that accent that. sounds elegant as fucking. Uh, I I can like what I have now, uh, I, and then it's like once I have it, I fuck, I'm keeping it. But then when I go back to that accent, you know, it's just right. Do you know? Is it right to have that accent? I could not feel like well. But that. Oh no, I couldn't speak. You, you I couldn't see myself speaking like that. I couldn't. I don't want to. You're denying who you are. Denying you. What, what part? Like, what part I'm, of like England is that? Is London. London. Well, come on, it must be some. No, no Lon London's very specific. London, London, London even in England, they have like different accents in different parts of the country. And what, the way I'm speaking there is London. More yeah. Like, a very strong London accent. They, they kind of they exaggerate the vowels. I think in such a way they really exaggerate the vowels, and they don't they don't use like the you know like the R's and things like that. Yeah. All of them are completely silent and gone, and they they silence they silence those like R's and. Things, those kind of letters they and like if you know we say well we pronounce like every word they say well like well 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 well, well. we're going to square oh. like they don't put like if you want your dinner you have to have your dinner like dinner yeah. nah, nah, nah. like they say dinner yeah like going to have your dinner like din ah we would say nah. din er like din er, er. Yeah. they say din ah din I think din Dinner time, time. We might say time, or time, or time. Yeah. Depends. Even parts of the country say it like time or time or time. Man, different accents. Blow different my accents. Mind. And you don't have to travel a long way to have a diff to see a different accent. Like, what is it with the like an hour's journey away and the accent's totally different? I mean, I can understand getting on the plane, but you could drive a car to a different part it's, of the same country. It seems a fine line between a speech element, a stammer, and a fucking accent. Like, but like even in this country here you travel an hour away and the accent is totally different yeah, yeah, yeah. but then you could be in a different part of the same country and travel an hour away and the accent could still be exactly the same like if we travel down to Wicklow the accent's not much different but if you travel the other way towards Dundalk it's totally different mm. and you go down south it's not and you go west even an hour like Mullingar it's different again can you really hear the big difference in that different accents if I know Specific, like I can tell the difference between a Cork and a Dublin accent, for example, mm -hmm. but I might not be able to tell the difference between a Galway and a Sligo accent because yeah. I don't know them well enough. They might be able to, but it's like say trying to tell the difference between an American and Canadian accent, and I can sort of now because uh, the Canadian sounds a bit more Irish than the American does. Yeah. Like, but they still speak similar to American. But when I hear certain words, they sound more Irish. And apparently Newfoundland sounds, has a Cork accent. What? They do, like, and they use the same expression. Like, yeah, here now, boy. Ah, what's going on? Yeah, they use like the same accents. It's crazy. 
and um, as a Cork accent. And in other parts of Newfoundland or Canada, like just have, I don't know if they dub in as such, but I think there's like a general kind of certain words like, like no, I, they might be speaking American, but when they instead of going out, they might go out, like they speak, say out, like the way we do. And it's like, yeah, you know, and you know in America they go like, it's fine, and in Canada when they speak like that, you know it's fine. Yeah. They always say fine rather than fine, like an ah, like they say I, more yeah. like I in Canada, more so than like an ah, like they, like their, like their I's are pronounced like A's in America usually. It's fine, like fine, fine. Jesus Christ. Well that's kind of the difference, so when you hear when you hear like the vowels in Canada, yeah. in the Canadian accent, that's when you kind of know the difference because it sounds a little bit more um, like closest to how the vowel sh does sound. Like so in, in Ireland, like we probably usually, we might s pronounce our eyes like oi, like oi, like it's fine. Like some, depends where you are and where you're from, like mm -hmm. yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Like rather than fine, in England they say fine, yeah. depending where you are again. So, but they, but depend, depending, like in Canada, they pronounce it more like an I rather than an A. Whereas in America, they might pronounce like an A, like A. Ah. Like an I and E is pronounced like an an, a, a and E, like an an. Mm. Almost like that. With a hint of the vowel. But that's, that's what I think that, I think that's one of the biggest differences. I'm sure there are others, but I wouldn't, they'd be able to tell more than I would. But I wouldn't be able to explain that between a, like a, like they say a Galway and a Mayo accent, to me they it would sound exactly the same. Unless I knew the lif different like nuances, I wouldn't have a fucking clue as to what difference they are. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's like accents. My own accent has no fucking fixed abode. Fixed abode, what a word. Or set of words, fucking fixed abode. It goes anywhere, like, all over the fucking place. Fucking love it. Right, so <laughs> we're gonna <coughs> we're leave this here. Mm. We might be doing another bit, or we might go on a break or something. But um, this is the end of we got fucking the adventure of life. The it's been three minutes, so freaking quick summary, I guess. Jeez, we talked about all things. What's the name of that film? Robert Patterson. High Life. High Life. We talked about fucking we'll accents. This. Accents, philosophy, probably every coronavirus, coronavirus, like around the world, around yeah. the world in, yeah. around the world in, uh, however long, ten seconds. Yeah. <laughs> beer review. Oh yeah. Fucking, yeah. I have a fucking non-stop on the go here. Beer review. Uh, <laughs> uh, pretending to shoot up places. Investment advice. Pretending Franks. to shoot up places. Pranks. Franks. Jeez, we cover quite a lot. Prank history. <laughs> this is multi. Multi epic conversation. Multi faceted. Well, that's epic bass, like how to go for this. Yeah, 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 that's that's this break might be a cover up for, for that. Is it really a break? Have a Kit Kat. Have a break. What's a Kit Kat by the way? What is a Kit Kat? Actually I had one thrown at my head once by an accident. You probably deserve it. I did, yeah, and I still ate it. It was there a Kit Kat. Yeah. And I ate it. <laughs> And he just came flying in my head and went poof. And he said, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, how's yeah. it, how's what it hit it? It was, he was just throwing it around like to someone and he actually, it, in fairness that was an action. And that, I'll give him credit. Were you driving a car at the time you threw it in the window at you? Um, I was just like shooting people. And, you were shooting people. Yeah. Shoot, shooting up the uh, teacher. vitamins. Shooting up the teacher who, well, I got 84% in the history test and she gave out to me because I was absolutely shit at history. Yeah. And I got 84 after getting like 50s failing it. And then suddenly I get 84% and I get in trouble and I have to redo the whole thing again. I know, that's, that's growing up, man. I, I was a fucking, not even teenager at that time. I know, we have. Strict teaching. Some teachers were stricter than others. Some teachers were fucking amazing, but have you ever had like a mix of strict and non strict teachers in your life, or were they all like one or the other? Ah, oh, yeah, good mix. Both. And that still seems to be the day with my students. And they still, like young students, people below the age of like 11, getting shit loads of homework every night. Yeah. Like the amount of people like I teach, and they tell me, oh, I have to go and do my homework now. And it's like, I sometimes just curious, how long does it take? Oh, it take me two or three hours. Like, at that age, you shouldn't be doing three hours of homework at night. 
you're too young for that. What's with them giving like ruining the whole <laughs> fucking evening? Pulling points and they should uh, be taking drugs and going out on the fucking razzle and playing prostitutes and all that. I'll be fucking doing two hours of maths homework every night. On the, what's on the rats? I mean, just like getting pissed. On the rats. Yeah, is that like, or a Z? Ra- I th- yeah, I think it's a Z. What's the abbreviation of? Razzle. What's razzle? Ra- it's just short for razzle. Just short for razzle. But what's razzle mean? Razzle just means getting drunk. Razzle means getting drunk. Yeah, it does like what? on the razzle and dazzle. Getting on the razzle. It's just I remember seeing this episode of the, one of those police shows in England, yeah. and the narrator was so funny. Like they pulled this Polish man over in a car, police car, and yeah. they like he was in the drive. He's driving. They pulled him over. He came out. He was absolutely shit face. He could barely stand. Mm. And the narrator said. It's not the way he said it was so funny. He said, he, looked, he was on the wrestle and drattle and he was very, very drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what the Northern English like. They say yeah. drunk like drunk, like, drunk. like we do. Yeah. Yeah. Very drunk. They're almost like kind of drunk. elongate the word. The drunk. 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 Zung. 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 